Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd with Rudd's Home Farm, and today we're gonna to be talking about calcium deficiency, or also known as tip burn. Stay tuned to find out more. Okay, so let's talk about tip burn, calcium deficiency. Calcium deficiency means that the calcium isn't getting to the tip of the leaves, causing them to brown at the tips, just like this. And, um, to understand why this happens, we kind of got to learn how water moves through the plant. Okay, so how it works is a, a uh, system called transpiration. Whereas our body uses a heart to circulate blood throughout our system, and that's what brings all our nutrients to all of our body parts. Uh, plants use a linear system so what I mean by linear is it takes up water and nutrients through the roots, okay? It takes up water and nutrients through the roots. And then as it goes up into the plant, it then, through the stem, it brings all the nutrients and water along all the way to the stem. And then on the other underside of leaves, we have what is called a stomata. And a stomata is very microscopic opening and closing mouths there's no way you'd be able to see them without a microscope but they open and close allowing air to come in carbon dioxide to come in and water and oxygen to go out and so as the water exits the plant it also brings with it nutrients and so the nutrient follows the water all the way up to the tip of the leaves and so once it evaporates, then the cycle starts again. It's 95% uh, of the water that the plant takes up is evaporated through the undersides of leaves, the stomata. Um, there's a lot of more wordy words of what exactly the processes are, but pretty much that's it. It's a single system. It goes into the roots, up to the plant, out to the leaves, and then back into the air. So what causes tip burn are, are several factors. So if calcium isn't getting to the tip of the plant, we have to figure out why that is. And there's two main reasons why tip burn happens. Number one is the underside of leaves cannot evaporate the water that they're releasing. And so if they can't evaporate the water, then they can't bring the nutrients necessary to build the leaf bigger all the way to the end of the leaf. And once they can't do that, you get this tip burn right here. So what may cause that? So number one is humidity. Okay, so every hydroponic indoor grow room should have one of these humidity testers. 40 is very average and pretty good. You definitely wanna keep it below 60. Um, it says within the past 24 hours, it's been 58. So maybe I gotta keep an eye on that. But uh, you don't want to get too sweaty because the water can't evaporate and it'll just stay in the, and it will stagnate the nutrient moving throughout the plant. And so what I do is I have a fan blowing over here. So that when I don't have it on now because I'm shooting a video, but normally I have a fan blowing over these things. And so that kind of moves the air and allows the water that is released uh, to be to evaporate. Okay. So we may see some tip burn in these smaller leaves that are like touching each other. They may have a, more, a tougher time evaporating the water. But um, that's not why this is. The reason why this is, is another reason. If the plant grows faster than what the nutrients can keep up with. So if calcium can't get to the tip as it grows and keep up with the, the need of it, the edge will burn like this. So what causes that? Glad you asked. Uh, so number one is hydroponic method means that it's already 30 times, 30% 30 faster since it doesn't have to search for nutrients and dirt or soil. It's supplied directly to the roots. Um, it grows a lot faster. And so what you want to be careful of is leaving your lights on too long. So that means that it's forced to grow faster than it should. And once it grows faster than it should, 
then you'll get this tip burnout. So I need to reduce the hours that I'm keeping my grow light on. And I already did that. So before it was on 14 hours and I reduced it to 12 hours. And oh yeah, and once, once it's burnt like this, it's, it's done. It's not gonna grow anymore. Uh, it's, I mean, well, the, the, the burnt won't go away. But luckily, I got some new healthy growth coming up in the center. And uh, now that I reduced the time, maybe I won't jack up these leaves. Still learning. So that is uh, calcium deficiency or tip burn and how it works and how to prevent it. Uh, once you get it down pat, you'll be able to get very delicious vegetables and leafy greens like this lettuce here. Uh, unfortunately, once you get this tip burn, tip burn, this leaf will become fairly bitter. So these these leaves are delicious. So it's it's not too bitter. It's you can you can kind of bite past it and just kind of ignore it better. But these these ones are like absolutely delicious. So try not to burn your leaves. You know I know you like to leave the lights on. You think oh wow it's not as powerful as the sun. But you know with the hydroponic method and the grow light combined, you need to be really careful to kind of let the plant pace and grow on its grow at a slower pace. So reduce those lights. Make sure you got a fan blowing. You should always have a fan blowing anyways because you don't want mold, mildew, fungus to grow on your plants. Grow medium, right? You don't want you don't want that. I had that problem as well. I was uh, I was germinating seeds and I didn't have a fan blowing over them and I got fungus on it. So always keep a fan. Um, this is I'll probably next time I grow. I'm doing a 90 day challenge to plant lettuce every week, but um. So this is this is several plants. I just let them grow together and let them compete. So probably next couple grows, I'm gonna try actually get one plant in there to see how that grows better. And maybe I can prevent some tip burn just because these plants have more room to, to spread out and be away from each other. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like and subscribe. I always got more stuff coming. Uh, if you wanna learn more and uh, get more details about stuff, I blog on my website, which is in the description below, rudshomefarm.com. And uh, leave a comment in the comment section telling me if you have experienced tip burn, because I, I experience it almost every single grow. So I'm working out, I'm dialing it in, I'm almost there. So thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.